Hello everyone, thanks for stopping by. Today's video is about mounting a ruffed grouse with its own skull. The skull, as you can see in the video, it's coming up, it's broken, uh, it's been shot, and also uh, one of the leg bones is gone and also that was shot and shattered so we couldn't use the real bone so in this video I'm going to show you a couple of tricks to repair and replace the bones with some sticks and also rebuild the skull so I'm going to let you watch the video video and uh, as soon as we get into that part of the uh, project I'll um, chime in again and I'll let you know what I'm doing enjoy the show Okay guys, this is actually one of the legs that you can see, um, the bone right at the heel is gone. So all I'm doing is at the very bottom part of the bone that, um, or the heel bone that is just a little bit of a uh, bone left, I'm just adding some uh, uh, wooden skewer in there uh, or a stick, ice cream stick or anything like that that you can find. I'm crazy gluing it inside the leftover of the broken bone and uh, with the spray activator make sure that it sets pretty quick so basically all you have right now is just a piece of stick and uh, what you need to do you need to measure it with the other leg bone that is uh, in good shape and basically make sure that you cut them in the same cut it at the same length that's all you need the length of the leg bone um, is needed for being able to put the proper measurement of the wire and also building up the leg muscle or the drumstick. Uh, that was it, very simple. You can do the same thing with wing bones and everything else. And also you can notice that um, I have inverted the wings on this bird too. So here we have the skull. Uh, it's totally gone. Majority of the skull is gone and uh, we don't really have anything to work with so one method is mixing up some polyurethane foam uh, just in a little, little cup and uh, what I like to do is basically I um, dab my ice cream stick into the foam and pour it inside the skull whatever leftover I have in the skull and then you can pour some on it and just make sure that the foam goes uh, really inside the remainder of the skull and twist it around move it around so it basically when it foams up or expands it expands outside not toward the beak so basically you're forming a big ball of foam attached to the beak or the remainder of the skull and I like to set it aside for 20-30 minutes till it totally gets hard and um, I come back and start carving it um, I have basically kept a or made, made a mold out of the real skull of the rough grouse for reference and uh, but it's not really worth the time or the effort to use artificial skull on these small birds because the beak is so small and it's just much easier to use the real skull on the mount. So, but I still use that casted skull as a reference because now I'm carving down the big ball of foam attached to the skull 
and that's uh, the artificial skull right now is my reference to be able to uh, carve it down to the same size and uh, also put the eye cavities or eye sockets and they're exactly the way so they're supposed to and once you have this thing done and carved and sand it down to the real size then you basically have a foam uh, polyurethane foam skull on your bird so you can easily glue everything to it and attach your wire no problem there are some people uh, that they do this on every bird even if the skull is not broken they just break their skull off and add some foam and recreate their own artificial skull that way I guess that's just one way but I prefer just do it when I have to so anyway I hope you enjoyed this part of the video I hope you pick up some tips or tricks about it and I'm gonna let you watch the rest of the video while I'm mounting the whole flying rough grouse you can watch what I'm doing Okay, if you like the video, please hit that like button and subscribe for future videos. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the show.